Deuteronomy 21. If a slain person is found fallen in the open country, in the land which Yahweh your God gives you to possess, and it is not known who has struck him, then your elders and your judges shall go out and measure the distance to the cities which are around the slain one. And it shall be that the city which is nearest to the slain man, that is, the elders of that city, shall take a heifer of the herd, which has not been worked, and which has not pulled in a yoke. And the elders of that city shall bring the heifer down to a valley with running water, which has not been plowed or sown, and they shall break the heifer's neck there in the valley. Then the priests, the sons of Levi, shall come near. For Yahweh your God has chosen them to minister for him, and to bless in the name of Yahweh. And every dispute and every assault shall be settled by them. And all the elders of that city who are nearest to the slain man shall wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken in the valley. And they shall answer and say, Our hands did not shed this blood, nor did our eyes see it. Atone for your people Israel, whom you have redeemed, O Yahweh, and do not place the guilt of innocent blood in the midst of your people Israel. And the blood guiltiness shall be atoned for them. So you shall purge the guilt of innocent blood from your midst, when you do what is right in the eyes of Yahweh. If you go out to battle against your enemies, and Yahweh your God gives them over into your hands, and you take them away captive, and see among the captives a beautiful woman, and set your affection on her, and would take her as a wife for yourself, then you shall bring her home to your house, and she shall shave her head and trim her nails. She shall also remove the clothes of her captivity, and shall remain in your house, and weep for her father and mother a full month. And after that you may go into her, and be her husband, and she shall be your wife. And it will be that, if you do not desire her, then you shall let her go wherever she wishes. But you shall certainly not sell her for money. You shall not mistreat her, because you have humbled her. If a man has two wives, the one loved and the other unloved, and both the loved and the unloved have borne him sons, if the firstborn son belongs to the unloved, then it shall be in the day he wills what he has to his sons. He cannot make the son of the loved the firstborn before the son of the unloved, who is the firstborn. But he shall recognize the firstborn, the son of the unloved, by giving him a double portion of all that he has. For he is the first of his vigor. The legal judgment for the firstborn belongs to him. If any man has a stubborn and rebellious son who will not obey his father or his mother, and when they discipline him, he will not even listen to them, then his father and mother shall seize him and bring him out to the elders of his city at the gateway of his hometown. Then they shall say to the elders of his city, This son of ours is stubborn and rebellious. He will not listen to our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Then all the men of his city shall stone him, and he will die. So you shall purge the evil from your midst, and all Israel will hear of it in fear. And if a man has committed a sin, the judgment of which is death, and he is put to death, and you hang him on a tree, his corpse shall not hang all night on the tree, but you shall surely bury him on the same day, because cursed of God is he who is hanged so that you do not make unclean your land which Yahweh your God gives you as an inheritance. Psalm 108, A Song, A Psalm of David My heart is set, O God. I will sing, I will sing praises, even with my glory. Awake, harp and lyre, I will awaken the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Yahweh, among the peoples, and I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, in your glory above all the earth, that your beloved may be rescued. Save with your right hand, and answer me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will exalt. I will portion out Shechem, and measure out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the helmet of my head. Judah is my scepter, Moab is my washbowl. Over Edom I shall throw my shoe, over Philistia I will make a loud shout. Who will bring me into the well-defended city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you, O God, not rejected us? And will you, O God, not go forth with our armies? O give us help against the adversary, 
for salvation by man is worthless. Through God we shall do valiantly, and it is he who will tread down our adversaries. Psalm 109 For the choir director of David, a psalm. O God of my praise, do not be silent. For they have opened a wicked mouth and a deceitful mouth against me. They have spoken to me with a lying tongue. They have also surrounded me with words of hatred and fought against me without cause. In return for my love, they accuse me, but I am in prayer. Thus they have set upon me evil for good and hatred for my love. Appoint a wicked man over him and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him come forth a wicked man and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few. Let another take his office. Let his sons be orphans and his wife a widow. Let his sons wander aimlessly and beg, and let them search for food from their ruined homes. Let the creditor seize all that he has, and let strangers plunder the fruit of his labor. Let there be none to extend loving kindness to him, and let there be none to be gracious to his orphans. Let those who follow him be cut off, in a following generation let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before Yahweh, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before Yahweh continually, that he may cut off their memory from the earth, because he did not remember to show loving kindness, but persecuted the afflicted, the needy man, and the disheartened to put them to death. He also loved cursing, so it came to him, and he did not delight in blessing, so it was far from him. But he clothed himself with cursing as his garment, and it came into his inward parts like water, and like oil into his bones. Let it be to him as a garment with which he wraps himself, and for a belt with which he constantly girds himself. This is the reward of my accusers from Yahweh, and of those who speak evil against my soul. But as for you, O Yahweh, O Lord, deal with me for your name's sake. Because your loving kindness is good, deliver me. For I am afflicted and needy, and my heart is pierced within me. I am passing like a shadow when it is stretched out. I am shaken off like the locust. My knees are feeble from fasting, and my flesh has grown lean without fatness. As for me, I have become a reproach to them. They see me, they wag their head. Help me, O Yahweh my God. Save me according to your loving kindness, and let them know that this is your hand. You, O Yahweh, have done it. Let them curse, but you bless. They arise and will be put to shame, but your slaves shall be glad. Let my accusers be clothed with dishonor, and let them wrap themselves with their own shame as with a robe. With my mouth I will give thanks abundantly to Yahweh, and in the midst of many I will praise him. For he stands at the right hand of the needy, to save him from those who judge his soul. Isaiah 48 Hear this, O house of Jacob, who are called by the name Israel, and who come forth from the loins of Judah, who swear by the name of Yahweh, and bring to remembrance the God of Israel, but not in truth or in righteousness. For they call themselves after the holy city, and are supported by the God of Israel. Yahweh of hosts is his name. I declared the former things long ago, and they went forth from my mouth, and I caused them to be heard. Suddenly I acted, and they came to pass, because I know that you are stiff, and your neck is an iron sinew, and your forehead bronze. Therefore I declared them to you long ago. Before they happened I caused them to be heard by you, lest you say, My idol has done them, and my graven image and my molten image have commanded them. You have heard, look at all this, and you, will you not declare it? I caused you to hear new things from this time, even hidden things which you have not known. They are created now, and not long ago, and before today you have not heard them, lest you say, Behold, I knew them. Indeed, you have not heard, indeed, you have not known, Indeed, even from long ago your ear has not been open, because I knew that you would deal very treacherously, and you have been called a transgressor from the womb. For the sake of my name I delay my anger, and for my praise I restrain it for you, in order not to cut you off. Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. 
I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, for my own sake, I will act. For how can my name be profaned, and my glory I will not give to another? Hear me, O Jacob, even Israel whom I called. I am he, I am the first, I am also the last. Also my hand founded the earth, and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I call to them, they stand together. Assemble all of you, and hear. Who among them has declared these things? Yahweh loves him. He will carry out his good pleasure on Babylon, and his arm will be against the Chaldeans. I, even I, have spoken. Indeed, I have called him. I have brought him, and he will make his ways successful. Draw near to me. Hear this. From the first I have not spoken in secret. From the time it took place I was there. So now Lord Yahweh has sent me, and his spirit. Thus says Yahweh, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am Yahweh your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you in the way you should go. If only you had paid attention to my commandments, then your peace would have been like a river, and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. Your sea would have been like the sand, and the offspring from your loins like its grains. Their name would never be cut off or destroyed from my presence. Go forth from Babylon, flee from the Chaldeans. Declare with the sound of joyful shouting, cause this to be heard. Bring it forth to the end of the earth. Say, Yahweh has redeemed his servant Jacob, and they did not thirst when he led them through the waste places. He made the water flow out of the rock for them. He split the rock, and the water gushed forth. There is no peace for the wicked, says Yahweh. Revelation 18 After these things I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was illumined with his glory. And he cried out with a mighty voice, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, and she has become a dwelling place of demons, and a prison of every unclean spirit, and a prison of every unclean bird, and a prison of every unclean and hateful beast. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her sexual immorality, and the kings of the earth have committed sexual immorality with her, and the merchants of the earth have become rich by the power of her sensuality. And I heard another voice from heaven, saying, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not participate in her sins and receive of her plagues. For her sins have piled up as high as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Pay her back even as she paid, and give her back double according to her deeds. In the cup which she has mixed, mix double for her. To the degree that she glorified herself and lived sensuously, to the same degree give her torment and mourning. For she says in her heart, I sit as a queen, and I am not a widow, and will never see mourning. For this reason, in one day her plagues will come, pestilence and mourning and famine, and she will be burned up with fire, for the Lord God who judges her is strong. And the kings of the earth, who committed sexual immorality and lived sensuously with her, will cry and lament over her when they see the smoke of her burning, standing at a distance because of the fear of her torment, saying, Woe, woe, the great city Babylon, the strong city, for in one hour your judgment has come. And the merchants of the earth cry and mourn over her, because no one buys their cargo any more, cargo of gold and silver and precious stones, and pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet, and every kind of citron wood, and every article of ivory, and every article made from precious wood and bronze and iron and marble, and cinnamon and amomum and incense and perfume and frankincense and wine and olive oil and fine flour and wheat and cattle and sheep and cargo of horses and carriages and human beings and human lives. And the fruit you long for has gone from you, and all things that were splendid and shining have passed away from you, and men will no longer find them. The merchants of these things, who became rich from her, will stand at a distance because of the fear of her torment, crying and mourning, saying, Woe, woe, the great city! She who is clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls, for in one hour such great wealth has been laid waste. 
and every shipmaster, and every passenger and sailor, and as many as make their living by the sea, stood at a distance, and were crying out as they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What is like the great city? And they threw dust on their heads, and were crying out, crying and mourning, saying, Woe, woe, the great city, in which all who have ships at sea become rich by her wealth, for in one hour she has been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O heaven, and you saints and apostles and prophets, because God has pronounced judgment for you against her. Then a strong angel picked up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, So will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down with violence and will not be found any longer. And the sound of harpists and musicians and flute players and trumpeters will not be heard in you any longer. No craftsman of any craft will be found in you any longer, and the sound of a mill will not be heard in you any longer, and the light of a lamp will not shine in you any longer, and the voice of the bridegroom and the bride will not be heard in you any longer. For your merchants were the great men of the earth, because all the nations were deceived by your sorcery. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints, and of all who have been slain on the earth."